today I'm looking at the Rode VideoMic Pro into an audio recorder. So if you have a Rode VideoMic Pro, which is what you're actually hearing right now, it is going into my digital audio recorder here. If you have one of these, it has the little 3.5 millimeter input on it or output jack. And it goes into your DSLR camera, most DSLR cameras that have the little 3.5 millimeter input. And you can also plug it into an audio recorder like this, which also has the little 3.5 millimeter input. And the ones that just have that input that don't have XLR inputs tend to run a better price. This one is not that cheap. I believe it's at least a couple hundred dollars, but something like the Zoom H1, which produces fantastic audio, also has this little input that you can put the road into. Now the road is also powered by its own battery. And so you plug it in, turn on the road, plug it into your recorder, set your levels. I actually have a video where you can check out how to set your levels and then record. And you can see I'm doing this off camera. So I could go anywhere. I could go all the way back there. Okay, I'm all the way back here and I'm still recording wirelessly, obviously, because my recording setup is in my hands. So you can go anywhere with this setup and still record very nice audio because the key is getting this microphone close. So how does it sound? How well does it work? That's what I'm testing out right now. I haven't heard the audio that you're hearing right now. So if I publish this, I guess it sounded pretty good. And I have a good suspicion that it will sound great. So you could use this, uh, the Rode VideoMic Pro, on the top of your camera and capture nice audio. Or you could take it off the camera and use it in a boom situation because again, the key is to get the microphone close to the person who's speaking. This setup would allow you to do that. So that's it. Rode VideoMic Pro to a consumer audio recorder. I'll call it that because it doesn't have XLR jacks. BoringTestVideo.com. See you next time.